it's gonna be the new baby room because mom's having a baby. It is raining outside. In fact, the whole forecast for like the next seven days is supposed to be raining. So what do you do when it's raining outside and you don't want to go out and do something with the kids? You bring creativity to the house. When I was younger, some of my favorite memories was like occasionally my siblings and I would like change bedrooms up and it was so fun. We would like rearrange everything and my mom just let us do whatever we wanted to and granted we were a little bit older so we could do it like by ourselves but today see those pictures right there i'll show them to you the kids want to switch up the bedrooms and oh, yeah. we are going to do that and it is going to take a lot more work from mom and dad because the kids cannot move their own beds around so let me show you what they came up with. Cooper made this, this is the bedroom upstairs. He wants to walk in, have the two lockers there, have Porter's bed and Cooper's bed, and that's where the window is. And they're that's what he wants. Oh, but no, they're probably like jumping. <laughs> Cute, yeah. I think we'll make them into bunk beds though. Yeah, so it's it? kind of impossible to see Emma's, but I- This I is the can't... hideout closet. Oh, so this is the door here. Yeah, Emma's bed, her toys, and Lucy's bed. And a dog bed for oh, her to sleep in. Okay. And her dog toys. It might not look like this, but we are going to do our best. Are you up for the challenge, Landon? Oh, I don't know. It's such a lot of work to disassemble and reassemble beds and cribs and everything. But sure, to make you happy. It's not just making me happy. Okay, so the other day when we were talking about this, I asked Landon. And I said, Landon, be honest. Like, are you frustrated with me and wanting to like change the rooms up. Are you frustrated that you're gonna have to like get your tools set out and help me do all that work? And he was like, it makes you happy. I'm like, no, don't worry about my feelings. Like, what are you thinking? He's like, no, I'm fine with it. And like, that's like one thing I love about him. He doesn't get like frustrated with that kind of stuff. I could see a lot of guys being like, just be happy with how it is or whatever. He's He hasn't shown any sign of being frustrated with having to do this it's all day good. with me because you secretly like it, don't you? Is there fighting in here? Our kids don't fight, do they? It's because of Lucy. Oh, Lucy, Lucy, are you causing Jesus. trouble? Yes, he's mad at her hey. birth. Okay. I think to make this job easier, before we start rearranging like the beds and the furniture, the very first thing that we are going to do is take all the toys, all the play stuff, like all of that stuff and put it in the playroom for now. And then we will slowly bring stuff in. You're not biting that, are you? Okay, okay, <laughs> just making sure. I just wanna be very picky on what toys are in the kids' rooms because I don't want it to end up like a big disaster. Someone asked on Instagram, how many toys do your kids own? And I was like so embarrassed that I could, I, I can't even count that. Like I couldn't even count how many toys they have. Like this is why I'm bringing it all to one room so I can reevaluate and really just simplify our lives and the kids' lives. Cause I feel like when you simplify like the kids stuff, like in the long run, they're probably just gonna be happier and like can think more there if that makes sense. Maybe I'm making this all up, I don't know. But that is a buttload of stuff to play with. That is a lie. She wouldn't know even if I was. I am not pregnant. Where are the awesome? That's, this is awesome. Mm -hmm. 
So I actually just remembered something. Landon, if you have anyone to be mad at at all, it is Ellie. This was all Ellie's no, idea. No, I was thinking that as I was taking my chips and salsa break. Oh, salsa. Um, yes, I made homemade salsa. Um, everything was fine in our house until Ellie showed up. Ellie came over one day and was like, Julie, why don't you like put the cross together downstairs? And I was like, that's a genius idea. It's so Ellie, this is all your fault. But if you want me to get really crazy on you, Emma's old room, the room upstairs, the one that we're just in, is technically the bigger room of the two. So, do you want to switch rooms and we could like take that room and put the boys in our room? room? Like no. we could like really get crazy here. No. We are also on a little bit of a time crunch because someone is gonna need a nap. You are gonna need a nap soon. Huh? You don't have a bed. <laughs> Okay, so we have interrupted the bedroom moving fiasco to do some haircuts. We wanted to take advantage of a- Fiasco is right. I thought this would take us like, like a few hours to move some beds. Oh no, I knew it would take us no, all day. All day. No, it hasn't been all day. It's only three o'clock. We've still got time to kill. But the boys need haircuts and I am looking a little bit, I'm still looking scary. I pulled my hair up and it's not looking any better here, but I will blame it on the humid weather. <laughs> Does it feel good? Good. Eventually, I'm not sure how much longer these boys are going to let us be cutting their hair. Because I'm never going to get any better? Because, well, they're, <laughs> they're just going to get more picky as time no, goes on, I think. No, they're boys. Little well, boys I don't know. Now. Were you picky as a 10-year-old? No, but my brothers kind of were really? a little bit. I, I remember. don't picture them being picky, and maybe I will improve my hair cutting skills, all right? You're doing good. You do a fine job. Fine job. Just a fine job. Cooper's gotten a lot better at haircuts. He used to really, um, really not like them. We dreaded doing his hair, but Cooper, you have grown up a lot. Thank you very much. All right, Landon just hung this board up and we are seeing if he did it correctly. Oh dear. Or if I lost. You have shrunk! You have shrunk. No. Yeah, Put your okay. Hand there. Okay. You're angling it up. Please. Nope. Okay, move. Oh, not much. A little shrinkage isn't I don't bad. think you shrunk. I think this was hung wrong last time. Let's see. Okay, so this is the true test. We've never measured Lucy on this, and the doctor just measure, measured her, so I know oh, how... Do you remember? Yeah, so I know how tall Lucy is. Let's I see. Like you. Okay, come here, sweet pea. Come here, Lucy. You just had a birthday. Let's we see. gotta measure you. Okay. Okay. okay, let's see how tall Lucy is. Okay, she's gonna stand up. Sometimes measuring on the doctor tables, I don't know how good they get good either. Job, <laughs> like, oh, they're cute little toesies. The guys okay. scoot them back. She needs to scoot them all the way back. That's Can she scoot them back further? That's, that's probably as good as you're gonna get. Okay, okay. you sure? Okay. Oh, oh, oh she bent her knee. <laughs> move your hand. Move your hand. Okay. Perfect. So how many inches? Two is feet, that? three and a half inches. So twenty-four. Almost four. Five, six, no, the doctor said she's twenty-eight inches tall. Yeah, almost 24. 24 so that'd be 28. 20. Oh 24. gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> I am terrible with my math. I was never good with math. That was Porter when he was one. That's Lucy at one years old. And the doctor did say, he's like, Porter's probably going to be one of your taller kids. Really? Yeah, looking at the statistics. And he's probably going to be a little bit bigger. Not bigger, but just like taller. And that's true. She's my tiny little thing. What are you doing flying around my house on a broom? No, we witches. Oh, you're witches? All right, witches. Witches here. with terrible haircuts. I can't blend. So those boys have seriously been playing in this room all day long. This is what we've got so far. We've got their lockers right there with their little piggy banks. And I don't know if I'm going to keep that or not. I don't have any use for it, really. Um, and I'm probably going to get rid of this, too. I, we'll, we'll, th we'll think about it. But... Cooper can keep his Legos in there and their clothes are in that side. Okay, and this is the girls' room. We've got Lucy's crib right here, the mirror, the little shelf thing that was upstairs. I don't love that anymore. I think I'm gonna take that down. I might get new bedding for them. I'm not really sure yet. I just think I want it. I don't know. Hers is getting kind of dingy because she's had it a really, really long time. And I need to figure out where to hang this little bow holder up. And we've got that little setup right there. And this is Emma's closet. Lana's getting the birds put back. 
They've been outside tripping, but it's getting kind of chilly outside. So Emma actually just went to a friend's house. So I'm gonna finish up a few things. The rooms are not perfect yet. They're still not exactly the way I want to, but I'm so happy that we decided to switch them around. And we'll see how she does. I think that once she gets used to sleeping with Emma, she'll be really happy with it. Thank you, thank you again so much for helping me all day today. It was my pleasure. Oh, it truly really was. I love spending the day with you. <laughs> Let's go save our kids. Thank Kay. you guys for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.